<laughs> yes, uh, yes, uh, what's going on? What's going on, everybody? Another, another night, another epic, uh, show. Make sure you guys check out the Lockout Man podcast show, uh, where I interview all good people. Whether they in trucking or not, you know, just like to just like to connect with a lot of people, you know, I, and I try to, you know, try to do the best I can on this side of the street. You know, uh, I had an epic conversation with uh, with my guest, uh, Big Willie J. So definitely uh, check that out, man. Definitely check that out. Um, I am here. I, I, I really do got to I really do got to go to bed, but. I do want to get this uh, video uh, out the way because this video right here is, uh, you know, ask questions, but I'm also reacting to uh, to comments and posts that I see on Facebook. And in this particular uh, video, there was a post on Facebook that uh, that a young lady in a Facebook group is really going through some things. And I just want to chime in because what she's going through, somebody else will be going through it too. And they just might just need to hear some encouraging words from somebody, whether it's somebody like me or somebody that's in the group that's, you know, that's giving her some encouraging words right now. Um, 135 people uh, came came through for um she uh posted uh she says that she's going through a lot right now uh she's trying to turn her life around and start a new career at the age of 39 now this career probably might be trucking because you know this is a trucking group that she's talking to but she says she wants to go to trucking school but she's having a little trouble getting to the point of actually getting up and go. Her car is having problems and she's suffering from depression because of her such because of her situation. She just needs some encouragement and some good advice. Encouragement is to keep your head up. Right now it's, it's a struggle but it's gonna get better. I'm hoping, I'm praying for you that it does get better. Depression is serious. I deal with it, a lot of people deal with it, but it's the way that you deal with it would make you different. Just don't let the depression take over you. You know, don't let it get to that, to that dark point. Because if you got depression now, getting in this truck ain't gonna make it better. But you you probably might feel in depression because of the problems that you're going through right now. You know, your your cars your car messed up, maybe your home life is messed up. Of course you're trying to turn it around. But keep your head up. Just keep saying to yourself that I can do this. I'm going to make it happen. Now, you want to get into trucking. You want to get into trucking school. Of course, it might be a roadblock there because of your financial situation. Um, but there are opportunities out there for you to get your trucking school for technically free there's grants there's uh uh like job courses F find out about it you know find out about it and 
in the it in family services like if you got unemployment or something like that go find out uh go find out through them to see if there's uh if there's grants or stuff like that for you to go to trucking school if that's not if that's not there or if it's if it's not available then search for companies that's giving trucking school uh and you have to you know of course you know drive for that particular company for a certain amount of months um rail has a has a pay uh pay as you go system um there's a couple of other companies got a pay as you go system too but i'm not sure who they are i gotta go I gotta go and probably do my research on that, but um, but companies like Pam, U.S. Express, CRST, Snyder, um, CR England, of course Western Express, those companies right there, you know, they'll they'll pay for your license, but of course you have to you have to drive for the company for like you know about. 12 months in order to you know pay off that debt but if you do leave they're gonna come after you but you still get your license out of the deal um it's hard it it it, it really is depression is so real though there's no way around it or getting over it but it takes a lot of focus to deal with it you know what i'm saying you will be you 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 feel that you might be less depressed if if you had the funds if you had a better job if your car was fixed or or anything of that matter Sometimes you have to force yourself to take the first steps to improving yourself. Sometimes you just don't want to get up. Sometimes you just feel like, I just can't do it today. But you got to do it today. You got to get up. You got to force yourself. You got to, you got to get up and look in the mirror and says, Today is the day. There's a lot of th there's a lot of things that I've been through, you know, that helps me deal with my depression. And there's there's bouts that I that I just it it just hits you. Especially being in a truck, you know. But you 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 got to get yourself better before you even step foot in this truck. Because if you don't, and if you have that depression that keeps building and building and building and building, getting in this truck is just gonna make it worse. If you're feeling depressed, just try, try to, to, to figure out was making you depressed and then once you figure out what making you depressed then you can start thinking positive thoughts breaking out the negatives put some put some mood music on some some calm music some waves and all like that do positive things get out of the you know get out there and take a breath you know once you get going and 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 fight the process you're gonna feel a whole lot better take my word for it because from a person that's dealing with depression on a regular thing 
it's just like how the hawk or how how bruce banner says you know how he deals with his uh anger issues he says i'm always angry and that's how he controls it well i'm always depressed but i control it i don't let it i don't let it control me and yeah there's some medicines that would that would that you take and all like that but positive thoughts positive vibes try to keep the negatives out of your life be strong be active never give up life of course is precious you know if you need somebody to talk to man you can give me a call my phone number you know my phone number is in the description below uh you can reach out to me you can dm me if you need somebody to listen to somebody to just hear your cries and just say it's gonna be all right feel free to get at me and again with with you trying to get into the into the trucking field and if this is what you want to do and if you don't have the money there is there is opportunities out there reach out to me and i will let you know because i make the calls to these companies all the time and they they, they tell me whether whether or not they have um they they have uh cdl schools swift has a uh, has a cdl academy prime has a cdl academy all right get with them you know and you should be able to get your license that way ptl has one but what i want you to do all right is to stop thinking about it and just go out and do it all right go out and do it put it on your back and just say i got this and just go and do it and never give up your situation is temporary it's not it's not a final destination it's temporary and you know when things is temporary you figured you, you figure it out and, and 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 go do it so i guess that will be some encouragement and some advice just pick up the phone make the call make the call to anybody that you need to make the call to and just keep you know it, it just keep up the keep up the vibe again you can reach out to me lockout man i made the call i can find out which one of these companies that you that 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 will work for you and i will give you the information that you need reach out to me lockout men all right you can hit me up in the uh messenger you can hit me up in the dm and you can hit me up uh you can hit me up on the phone because my phone number should be somewhere in the description below and this goes out to anybody anybody that feels like they're down or they're going through some hardships and they just need somebody there to talk to I would I, I I I would give you an ear. If it's about trucking, I would give you an ear. All right, all right. If you guys know anybody that needs to hear this, definitely share it with them. Uh, if you guys like content like this, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button, and get at your boy. All right, you guys take it easy. And I will come back at you with another one. Peace.